Dear students, now I uh, simulate to you how this uh, game sh should have worked if you would have had no problems. So I start a new game. I name it uh, somehow. And I use the default parameters for the game. Then I select to be the wholesaler, for instance, and uh, I clicked already through the, the tips, so I hide them by now, and this is the start of the game. So we have to decide upon the outgoing order, so what we order from our suppliers, and we have 12 units on stock, so I decide without knowing what the incoming order will be from my customer to just order 10 units. There is no human connected to the, to the game, so I select to play with the computer. And I don't want to see this uh, message anymore, so I'd say don't show anymore and send anyway. I have received uh, 13 uh, or 12 units from um, from my customer, which are immediately sent out. And that was all that I had in stock. So now the stock is, uh, oh no, it was 13 units, sorry. So I sent 12 out that I had on stock and I have one at backlogged. So uh, I don't know how much uh, will be next uh, for my customer order. So I just try to order the same amount that um, he ordered. And then I see he ordered five units. So I decrease a little bit my order for the next turn. We are here at the second turn. This is now the third turn. And we have seen that uh, delivery was 10 units. So now my stock uh, has increased again on four units and no backlog. And six units have gone out. So I say, okay, this uh, worked well. I keep the 10 units and order them again. And we have seen I had an incoming order of six that went out because I could deliver and now stock is uh, zero. Uh, we have 12 incoming, so I just order the same amount again. We have seen that now my customer ordered five units. I have seven on stock and this is a good way to, to proceed. So I just do the same and we've seen seven have been uh, ordered and uh, we have some coming in, not the amount that I ordered because it seems that also my supplier did not um, deliver everything that I ordered from it. So there should be a, some, a backlog somewhere at my suppliers and I order once again 10 units. Now I've seen that uh, my customer ordered just five units. I still have three on stock. But uh, I tend now to decrease my orders to my supplier um, so that I don't get a higher stock level. And now you have seen that I got a delivery of 21 units. So everything that uh, has not been um, delivered so far and my stock increased to 13 units. And the customer ordered uh, 11 units that we shipped out. So I increase again my orders just in case. And we've seen I just got the delivery of two units. So there must be once again a backlog at my, cost, at, at my supplier. I have nine on stock and I had a small order from my customer. So I just keep the 10 units. Now this increased uh, from the customer to nine units. And uh, I have 17 on stock. So I decide to decrease my orders. Once again, we have seen that uh, just two units came back in and seven units have been ordered. I have 12 still on stock, so I decide to go with the five units. And uh, now I got uh, a huge delivery and I have on stock uh, 22 units. I want to decrease my stock because uh, it costs me every turn. And I select to go with the five units. 
we have three just coming in so now you see that my stock increased quite a lot because all the orders uh, that I ordered beforehand uh, came in so I have a huge stock and uh, I keep on just uh, ordering five units five come in a demand of four comes in and I continue like this so now I just speed up a little bit because we want to play 50 rounds uh, and we are at round 16 so I'm speeding up a bit now I had a huge order so I decide to order a little bit more to not go uh, to backlog And this seems to work as I don't go to backlog and I play quite a lot of rounds. So now we have seen that uh, the orders change to, to little orders and the stock increased quite by a lot so I decreased my outgoing orders you see that the stock is increasing once again and now all my orders come in so my stock is increasing once again and little goes out or is ordered by my customer Now he ordered a huge uh, package, so I decide to increase a little bit my orders. And I don't know, I have a bad feeling, so I increase it a little bit more because my stock is not so high. You have to keep in mind that we have two weeks of uh, order delivery, so there is a, a delay. Okay, and now we have played our 50 um, rounds and uh, the game is over. So now we can go to the debriefing page and see how I performed. And now uh, you have the, here the global results. So the cost throughout the session uh, required 15 euros and something um, on the cost level, my service level uh, had one time a backlog, uh, so 74% uh, of, the, of the session time. And the retailer out of stock was uh, during 14 weeks. So we are the wholesaler, we are not the retailer. That is uh, strange. So we did not deliver too much to him or not 100% uh, service level. Um, we had 28% um, where we weren't able to, to sell, or the retailer was not able, and the variability of uh, the biggest order was sent to the manufacturer on week 11 with uh, 30. Um, so if you look at the, the graphic, we have uh, the stocks and uh, the order sizes that I uh, put into the system, and here is the cost increase that we can see. So this is uh, the cost increases accumulatively and peaks at the highest cost here. So if we compare with uh, other games, then we see that um, yeah, the retailer here, the retailer level was quite going up and down. Uh, but he has the lowest cost of all the players with 1 euro 63. For the wholesaler, it was already three euros and something. For the distributor, it was six euros. And strange enough, uh, for the manufacturer, it was not that bad. Normally, the manufacturer is uh, worst off in the game. So here, then, to go further, uh, you have some more information. 
that you can click on. So in what days did the structure of the game influence the results? How can uh, real supply chains cope with these changes? And here are some, some items that you could discuss with your group members regarding the lead time, batches, the minimum order quantities, etc., and also the shipment capacities. Um, so that gives you some hint. And you find them also on the lecture slides for se section two. Okay, thanks for watching.